Namaste friends. Good morning. Very nice to see many old friends. Oh, Ujwal, welcome. Hello. Very nice to see you. Yeah, very nice to see you too. <laughs> so wonderful, so wonderful. And um, Madhavi ji is here, Madhavi Lata ji. Uh, Kritika is here. Uh, Shushant has joined, wonderful. Um, Ujwal ji, Ujwal, I have I already spoken and uh, Kamal, Kamal Ega. Hi, Shushant. Hi. Hi. Ah, welcome, welcome. Very good to see you. Hello. Thank you. Nice, nice. Um, another uh, two minutes, friends. We are waiting for a few more friends to join. And by that, by that time, we will, I think we will start. Anilji is saying good morning. Sugita ji has joined. Wonderful Sugita ji, very nice to see you. Okay. So, is it okay that we come on the uh, video for once? Like it's good to see all of you. Uh, and I will feel that I am talking to my friends. It would be nice. Very nice. Anilji, namaste. Very nice to see you. Excellent. Sugita ji is here. Wonderful, wonderful. Kamal, Kamal Ega. Hi, Master. Wonderful. Hi, Master. Master. Namaste. Kritika is here. Wonderful. Nice to see you, Kritika. Madhavi ji is here. Okay. Wonderful. So, um, okay, I'll keep talking, by the way, you know, when friends join uh, and uh, because I'm seeing many old friends, I feel like speaking. Uh, so it's so good friends. Like, uh, uh, I'm sure all of us who have joined here, they're working a lot on themselves. You know, they're already healers. And I know there are many healers here, trainers here, um, doctors here, right? Uh, so teachers here. And, uh, so wonderful that we are journeying together. And uh, I mean, for me, my journey started, um, I, I think uh, around 2008. I mean, my real journey, if I talk about 2008, when I met Dr. Newton Kondavati, um, one of uh, the work, uh, you know, workshops, the first workshop that I did two days past life regression workshop. And, um, you know, that time it was so confused. I mean, I'm talking like, I think 12 years now, 12 years. And uh, so confused, everything was like, uh, uh, you know, very, especially for me, I was going through like a painful process that time because of my gender identity. I, I think all of you are my very old friends, you know my story, right? So uh, very difficult friends that time, uh, like uh, where to go, what to do. I was in an IT field, don't know how to start. And then uh, I left my IT career. I joined New Dr. Newton uh, in 2012 in Hyderabad as a, as a facilitator. You know, I was doing past life regression in a child work. And not only, you know, I was doing, you know, it was a work on my own self. Like, you know, why I love meeting all my old friends because uh, it's more, I feel I am gaining the most, you know, it's, it's like learning together. And it's so amazing when we learn together. Parimal ji is here. Namaste. Very good to see you after a long time, sir. Okay, I have to mute everyone so the voice is audible. So, um, and friends, the moment, you know, I started working on myself, inner child and past life regression, family constellation, breath work, I started understanding the real problem with me. Right, because I, I feel gender and sexuality is quite a deep subject. It it would come uh, <laughs> maybe at the at some point of time. We all need to face it at one point of time because this is where you know I, I believe that we are all creative people, especially here, all trainers, all teachers, all all seekers that I know. Because this is a very small group, friends. This is a very core group that I have uh, sent this invitation to. I have not sent the invitation to everyone. Very core group. 
we all are like, um, you know, we all know this field well. We have worked in this. We know how it works, right? So what I'm trying to say is, act, you know, we all want to now expand. We are, we are creative. We want to create. If we don't create, we will destroy. <laughs> either we create, either we, dis we will be destructive. Either creative or destructive. That's what I feel about myself. When I'm not creating, I feel I will destroy something. Right? And I, I have negative thoughts. I, I go into a negative mode. You know, I'm sure you all resonate with uh, this kind of mode sometime or the other. Right? And, uh, you know, and I, I was questioning, what is it? Why, what is this gender? What is it to be this man, woman? What am I, you know, what kind of body I'm born in? Uh, this is because I always felt, you know, I'm like, a, I have a more a masculine presence, right? But physically, you know, I was born uh, otherwise, like I was born in a female body, right? So, you know, this contradict, this contradict, uh, actually today I thank this contradict because this make me evolve. This made me evolve, right? I was, this problem I went through. I'm so grateful to this problem because it made me grow, grow as a person. And then I, I started meeting masters and I started getting uh, training from them, learning, uh, uh, you know, my interest to study Tantra, shamanism, all this came from this conflict. Otherwise, I won't even bother to look into these things. This is so enriching. Uh, you know, uh, I would say, I, I thank this wisdom, friends, from the bottom of my heart. Every day I want to, you know, I have gratitude for what I have gone through. Because earlier I used to feel, oh, what a life this is, you know, like, uh, it's a, uh, why am I born with this conflict? I used to curse my life. Today, I am grateful for the pain that I have gone through, the journey that I have gone through because it made me a creative, you know, the creativity is coming. At one point of time, friends, why I, uh, I am very interested in having this very small core group, because this is a core group, Bliss Shop Practice. I have opened this group to have a core practice because you will feel that now you want more ideas. You want more insights. You want to be more creative. You don't want to live li like what we are living today. Tomorrow, we want to improve. So we need insights. And this is where today I'm going to talk about this amazing. And for that, you have to have a healthy body first, right? Isn't it? The physical is so important. Healthy body. Then the energy will refine. Then we'll have a beautiful energy out of that, right? And from that energy, insight starts coming, friends. So many insights, right? Like uh, we sit in meditation, insights start pouring. And we can present our essence. So I'll start the presentation. I think many friends have joined. Uh, Gayatri ji is here, wonderful. Okay, and let let everyone join. And um, I made a little presentation, friends, for you. Okay. Okay. Right. I hope my voice is clear. Ujwal, you can hear me well. Great, wonderful, right? So today's topic, friend, uh, how to heal different parts of our body using the sexual transmutation. Now, uh, the reason I'm bringing this subject to you, friend, because I know that we are all ready for it. All ready for it. We are creative. We are now ready. And um, I was sharing about my journey. I hope you will allow me to share a little bit more so that you get what I'm trying to tell you here, right? So, you see, basically, yeah, I was talking about my gender dysphoria. So I was born with gender dysphoria. I was confused about my sexuality. I did not accept my gender. Uh, I, you know, at that point of time, I think 10 years back, if you are talking to me about gender and sexuality, I would just shrink. I was just closed, not at all ready to talk about it, right? Fully shut down. And I was living a very mechanical life. I, neither I was a social person, nor, you know, I was uh, mingling with anyone. 
completely shut down just like a robot i'm walking uh, my potential is like just khao khana peena sona that's it i don't know anything more than that right and now today when i work with many people they are in a state of khana peena sona that's it not above that i'm sure you resonate with what i'm saying and then this you know this magic happens in our life when we are really you know i because i was really looking oh because i believe the mother mother kali please help me you know where am i why am i born like this please help me and this is where you know the, the mother shows masters you know i i met amazing master my first master i want to pay my uh, gratitude to his osho right the first book given by my colleague i still remember my colleague thank him for that he gifted me a book he said you know he may have sensed my problem and he i was i used to sit in a small cubicle one day he took the book of osho and he gifted he said read this book and in that book it was all about meditation you know how a person is sitting in the middle of a, a jungle and meditating you know so so amazing after that i started reading uh, listening to him reading him continuously and so much you know i i got elevated and then dr newton 2008 i joined this amazing beautiful master i'm sure one uh, many of us knows him dr newton dr lakshmi and with so much love and compassion he he allowed me to be in his system you know i studied with him i he gave me opportunity to work with others he gave me opportunity to create workshops he mentored i was an apprentice under him for the last 10 years friends like he gave me depth knowledge before i am talking about this i you know he made me go into karma past life regression uh, in in a child uh breath work family constellation you know to see the roots you know the roots are so important and brahma shri prati ji you know our great great master i learned meditation i am a regular meditator and so many insights i get when i meditate and uh, i am also a student of a uh, uh, great master mantak chia i will be talking about one of his great technique today you will learn an um, amazing technique that i'll teach you i'm sure you know if you can put a little of today's what we will learn in your life you will find the difference friends i want to give that to you here you know i'm so inspired because i am reaping the benefit of it every day you know many people that i'm connected with they are using this beautiful technology we all need to be aware of this technology friends there is a technology inside right and to my mother father my sister and to myself i want to pay my gratitude also and uh, david deda another amazing uh, master i learned so much so friends my intention is to bring this knowledge which is scattered into a very simple form concise it and give it to you give it to people my mission is that i want to simplify what people are not talking about and uh, trust me it's not been a easy work i'm sure you will understand many of my friends are here i know they are smiling at me it's not been a easy journey last 10 years i have been trying to speak about it 2016 i started presenting my conferences to talk about it and i want to simplify concise it and give it to you so that you can benefit from it and so you know what happened to me after i have gone into this i started having out of body experiences right i went out of my body and i was you know affirming my gender from there i understood what is the picture big picture of gender why i chose a difficult situation in my life what is my purpose what is the purpose of my life i started having out of body experiences i'm talking about all this because it's a small group here um only my friends whom i know are here only people who are ready to hear this are here right so 2016 uh, this is what was my first conference uh, in uh, plrc 5 i presented uh, sex expression as my subject it was well accepted then wcrt world congress of uh, um uh, uh, past past life regression therapist it was in goa then uh, you know i presented uh, such workshops in uh, this is in belgrade around 100 people were there right and then in uh, brazil i presented so you know what happened is when i started accepting my problem i started 
you know, getting more creative. So doors and windows started opening in my life, right? A person like me, friends, you may be knowing, you know, these uh, transgenders and LGBTQ community, how problem they are going through. Many of my friends, they commit suicide. You know, I, I, my heart is heavy when I talk about it because really, uh, you know, the, the kind of society we have created, right? We, we are away from the golden age. Golden age in India was not like this. We understood all these things. We, we have temples in Konark where we see these uh, pictures, uh, you know, on, on top of, uh, uh, on the walls of Konark. Why are those pictures being embedded there? There's a deep meaning. Our, our Indian culture was so rich. It understood the importance of sexuality, gender. They respected. They respected the array, uh, like, a, like a rainbow color in gender. It's right. So why? Because and it, it, um, uh, you know, in Hindi, it used to be called Sone Ki Chidiya, right? Our Bharat Desh was Sone Ki Chidiya that time. So my intention is, uh, you know, I think we are all working towards the golden age. We are all light workers. We are all specialized, right? I see Ujwal is here and many uh, senior masters here. Right, already um, Anil ji is here, Madhavi, Lataji, doctor, you know, so we, we are all working in towards the golden age and we have our own part, right? So I have chosen gender and sexuality uh, to work, you know, to make people aware about this in the golden age, right? And I, I feel it's very important, friends, very, very important. So. Yeah, I was able to also write a book. My own whole history is documented in Transition, Awakening to the Gender Identity. This is a book you'll find in Amazon. And Gandharva Loka, it's still on. I'm about to finish it. Hope I'll finish it more. So this session is also about how to not lose energy from our openings. Friends, this is uh, what I want to talk about today. How do we preserve this energy? how we can regulate this energy to our organs, to our creativity, to our manifestation, and how not to, you know, waste this energy from opening. Even unconsciously, when we are sitting, the energy gets leaked from the openings. Unconsciously, we are leaking energy. Becoming unconscious is leaking this energy. And when we are using this energy in ways, you know, we are just, People don't know because people are not aware of it. They don't know how to use it energy. They, they have uh, all, all kind of maybe uh, affairs or you know, um, they are putting uh, their uh, attention somewhere else. Uh, they don't know how to control the urges. Sexual urges are very, very strong. It's wild energy, right? It's like we are working with wild energy here. It's like a lion, right? So I, I, I was going through this process from the last 10 years. How do I manage myself? How do I manage my own energies, right? And I found I have to balance the masculine and feminine inside myself. So I was only meditating, only reading spiritual books. And I didn't know, I, you know, though I, I, I started getting few knowledge from, because I work with great masters, you know, they, they, they have been, uh, you know, inspiring me, go Aditya, now you present, now you talk to people about it, you are ready, but I am not ready. I just want to sit, meditate, I don't want to take action. My masculine energy is completely uh, wounded. I don't know how to put myself, how, how to put my, um, you know, work to people. Just sitting and meditation, meditating, like I know how to make rockets. Oh, that's a great thing. Rockets are a great thing. But if I don't know how to sell rockets, then what's the use of making rockets? Right? So friends, this is that balance we all need to bring the masculine and the feminine becoming rooted. If we are ready to download energy, our roots have to be very strong. Sacral chakra and the muladhara needs to be very, very strong. Then we channel creativity, we channel energy. And we can also project it firmly. If we are not firm in our roots, how do we project it as healers? How do we project that energy? So an example of this is, how is ice to water to gas? 
ice, the sexual organ, the sexual energy is condensed. Right? We need to learn how to make it to water and to gas. This is the analogy. Ice is, I'm giving a representation of the sexual organ. Water, I'm giving an uh, analogy for making it into the energy, putting it like an energy. And then gas, gas is like the spiritual energy. Like, you know, now you, you can expand with that. That is sexual transmutation in a very easy word. So before I start the session today, going into the main things, friends, I would like you to take an action. I have been the one who has not been taken action and I know the value of this. Take action. This is a class just not to, you know, just rest, relax and listen. Okay, some lecture is going on. Aditya is preaching something, you know, you just put it in your ear and you don't do anything about it. No, this is not a session for that. We are not getting it. All the friends here, I'm sure have been listening to me. We are connected for a long time. Right. My effort is to put my story, put my life, whatever I have, because, you know, that's my passion. I, I'm more than anybody else. I'm doing it for myself because the more I share, more people get benefit. You know, it's adding one more bulb. I, I think I'm connecting to one more bulb and I can glow more. And I all person present here, I know they are very serious because they have been with me. It's a small group, but I know I, I hold a very connection, dear connection with every one of you, you know. There, I, I know you from, we have connections, right? Connections is important, friends. Otherwise, the trust doesn't develop. So friends, that's the reason I will start my class talking about taking action. Take action to master this energy. And it takes time, it takes time. And that is the reason I am creating these groups and we'll have these groups more often, maybe weekly, you know, I'm trying to develop it in weekly, at least in week we will meet once. Because this is one area where you, we all are putting a lot of things in our mind. Okay, I want idea, I want, okay, meditation and this and that, reading, knowledge. We don't look into the roots, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't have, uh, like I don't see a lot of people who are really balanced with the root and the sahasrara and they are the masters. I've shown you the pictures of this, those masters and we want to be like them. I want to be like them, right? So friends, I want to start with telling you Bliss Shop 2021. We have it on 28, 29 January, 1 to 6 p.m., which is coming. If you have not, here there are people who have gone through the workshop. Here there are people who have not gone through the workshop. Who have not gone through the workshop i want to tell you go through this workshop take this knowledge and come to the inner circle so that we meet right i want to declare it in the in the very front before starting the class many people are thinking that i am aditya is selling and let me tell you i am selling <laughs> i am learning to sell because i know i am selling something very very potential you know it would really change life we all need to look into this energy, not today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But all of you here, we are ready to take action, take action. And people who have gone through Bliss Shop workshop with me, please attend these groups. You know, it took 10 years for me, trust me, to master this, right? It takes a little time. I'm not saying 10 years. I don't want you to go through 10 years or I don't want you to go through my suffering. I'm not here to talk about my suffering, right? I want you to get all the juice that I have gathered. I have packed it all for you. I have a lot of things to share. Attend this bliss shop. Whenever it's there, the groups, please come here, practice it. It is about practice. So friends, today, uh, yeah, the, the price is 7,000 for this workshop, but you are my internal group. I'm giving it at 6,000 only till the end of this class. I'm making it very clear, 6,000 only to the end of this class, you can GPA me, right? If you are ready, I'm sure you are ready. You are here to take actions, right? And the syllabus is this, the process of manifestation using the, what we, I am, I was really interested is to manifest my life, manifest my dream. 
like i said you are here with certain fields you are expert in certain fields you want to give it out and you need to use this energy so step by step process manifestation of sexual energy this this is syllabus transform sex to strengthen your body mind and spirit we will learn about this today also i will give you one great tool becoming a multi organic orgasmic man and woman and more more it is also for men to train their energy right more the work is for men you know women they can train easily right but of course women also needs to know because they have to train their men they have to train their children right differentiate between types of orgasm men and women improve your physical health and achieve material success and unlock more creativity and wisdom for the spiritual development so this is a syllabus which i have packed through all my learnings in two days and uh, you will get a practice of this session later after you know this bliss shop workshop you will be a part of the our monthly support now it's a monthly support but i'll try to make it group you know weekly support so that we can meet week every week we will practice maybe half an hour 45 minutes will week and we'll meet and practice and 21 days masculine feminine balance meditation i had created a, a whatsapp which i have the audios i want to give it free to you with this workshop so that it's it's worth you know uh, 2222 rupees 2222 but i'm giving it for free so that you can practice even after the workshop you are in tune with it for 21 days you can practice it and you can have a one on one call with me so that i can uh, understand your personal thing that uh, what you can how to use it how you can make it more and you will get lot of reference books material from me right so this is what it it is about friends i want you all to take an action wherever you are okay now the reason uh, why we are so interested in the energy friends 50% of this energy is consumed by our heart liver brain bones thinking digestion excretion all these things 50% energy is consumed 25% of energy is stored in the kidney and this is called reservoir kidney is a reservoir and this energy we only use it when it's a emergency situation when it's a fight the body is fighting between death and life only then we use this energy otherwise it is stored we are not using this 25% another 25% is stored in the sex organs and that is why we are so interested about this energy it is the creative energy it is we know we are born from this energy if we want to be creative it's not only creating babies when it's moving down it can create baby it's beautiful no problem with normal sex also it's beautiful we know it but here we are more interested how to make this energy to use it to create our lives to be more creative to have more insights i am sure many times i i am sure all of us will agree here we sit for meditation and okay some thoughts coming it is so dull and we at one point of time we will all say i need more energy i need more energy we all need energy how you need to open this this is called the door of life and death this just below the navel friends door of life and death and we have to ignite the flame there if you read napoleon hill gandhi you you name it i would strongly re recommend read, reading these books they have given the secret how to restore this energy and to put it to your passion and it rewires our brain friends the sexual energy can rewire our brain friends after many people they have done past life regression inner child work this work that work you know and then they say i am not still able to forgive i can't let go people ask me aditya how do i let go what i tell them is you start practicing bliss in your life 
you start celebrating your life you forget about what has happened okay once we have seen this has happened in the past done a little work enough now you come and practice bliss because only bliss see this is you need to read maybe you are not able to see it fully i'll read it for you dna renewal needs orgasm arousal love compassion and earth heart beats i'll read it again dna renewal needs orgasm arousal love compassion and earth heart beats when we are engaging in sexual activity when i am using the word sexual activity i am using please know that i am using awareness and love with that otherwise it's a wild energy it can go anywhere we are using the energy with our love and compassion and awareness this will rewire your brain in the depth of the bay brain there is the uh, mid brain i'm sure you will know the name it's called amygdala amygdala is the brain where we keep all the fears people ask me how to uh, you come out of fear you need to grow this blissful energy in your body you forget about fear you start growing cultivating good energy in your body nurture your all the organs nurture your soul you st we start focusing on that fear will disappear i can't let go i can't forgive this person we don't have to we put our energy in the system that is there with with us we empower the system we empower the technology rewiring will happen on its own so friends this love vibration that is created with you know this uh, sacred energy it is said it is exactly how the earth's heartbeat is when this this is called alchemy friends i love the word alchemy when you are able to create this alchemical energy alchemical fire it is exact it has been tested by science if you have uh, heard about schumann resonance sr the frequency of the person being in a in a ecstatic state a blissful state and earth's resonance is same right so we do require earth energy to heal ourselves so we are straight away working on the energy and that's the reason i said no it is not a class where you are going to sit and listen to a lecture no it's about changing energy you need to move your body you need to work right and it's a pleasurable work friend it is so beautiful once you get it sometimes what happened is uh, for me i failed i again did i failed again i did i failed again i did i failed so we need to do this trial and that's the reason i'm creating this group let us fail let us try let us fail let us try let us be connected so that we are working with this energy so this is what happens friends when we are making love the dna makes love the dna twist and turn with each other and they produce you know it is called uh, pinolin the pineal gland will start producing a hormone called pinolin right and you feel the waves of this orgasmic vibration unconditional love so we need more beautiful you know hormones in the body i'll give you another analogy to understand this now we are coming into this technique which i am going to share today right and i am trying to make it as simple as possible and i thought i can bring this pump to understand this what it is so water there is a, some water water means i am here the analogy for water is i am giving as energy so what is happening when we want to bring water up we put a pump right it's a pump and we are 
with the pump we are pulling the water up right so water here is energy in the body and this is the body which we have and this is the diaphragm now there are four diaphragms in the body very interesting friends right there is a diaphragm we generally know only one diaphragm which is there below the chest but there are four one is the pelvic diaphragm where the sexual organs are we need to work a lot with the pelvic diaphragm that's where the work is we don't work we have forgotten to work with the pelvic diaphragm when we are in the mother's womb we we are breathing with the pelvic diaphragm so pelvic diaphragm the diaphragm just below the chest when the one diaphragm is here and another diaphragm is here four diaphragm strings right so when we move the diaphragm the diaphragm can pull the energy up and how to pull it it's by the pump what is the pump pump is the breath you need to know how to use your breath with the breath you can pull the energy up and when you pull the energy up then you can flush it to the body right so this is the analogy so and when we know this how to pull the energy we can circulate the energy it's it's an amazing process friends it's so amazing if you learn it once you will start doing it you sit and you rotate the energy you walk you rotate the energy you want to build better connection you rotate the energy with that person and eyes the eyes are one of the major things that you are going to learn here you know you need to know how to because wherever you are putting the eyes so first if you put the eyes at the pelvis where the energy is stored right we know the kundalini energy that we talk about below the coccyx right so you put your eyes there and with the breath with breath inhale and you are putting the eyes up i'm going to do the practice with you i will i will show you but i'm just finishing the theory first so that we go into that okay so i think this is clear to everyone right this is clear how the pump works right energy needs to be pulled up how do we pull it up with the diaphragms we need to activate the diaphragms for that right and use the breath right first when you are learning it it may be a little here and there but once you get it you will know it now i want to do the exercise i will teach you the exercise right now how to do it what i all want you to do is if you have a yoga mat or something you put it and you stand okay because first you have to stand and do it right and i want everybody to do it right now with me okay everybody who is uh not on the camera come to the camera because this is important right i will teach you this and i want to have everybody on the camera and give me just one minute i'll change my location just give me one minute Okay, now I I hope everybody can hear and see me. Yeah, everybody can see me. Parimal ji, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, sir. Welcome. Okay, you can put it on uh, the speaker mode, friends, so that you can enlarge. You on the top right corner, you'll see speaker view, so that you get a full uh, glimpse of me, how I'm doing it. Okay, now. what we need to do is today we are working with the you know uh, i'll show you now this is where uh, this is the navel this is the navel and just below the navel this is where the door of life is right so for i will give you a, uh, uh, the instruction you just first look at me what i am doing okay so first we have to do 
to this because see many of our uh, you know we have this very hard you know you'll see this is very hard this portion we, we don't move it much right so this is where we have to do this tapping to open the doors so very light tapping this tap below the navel okay and not very hard tapping light tapping and also the kidneys light tapping friends okay because now we shake because the energies needs to move before we start practicing shake shake the body <clears throat> Just shaking the body. You, uh, when you start shaking, already you will feel the energy moving. A very beautiful exercise, friends. Uh, like for lazy people like me who don't want to exercise, you, these are very simple exercises, not strained. Okay. Now I will teach you the method. Now, this is today, uh, I think is, is the uh, audio clear? Sumit, is the audio clear? Okay. What we will do is, the anal splinter, the anus, okay, our anus. We are going to work with the anus today. So what you will do, you will gently contract the anus, okay, like this, gentle, okay. And what you'll do, I will show you first, like you with the mind's eye, with the mind's eye, you are looking down, you are looking down into the pelvis and inhale, bring it to your head. So you contract lightly the anus, right? Light contracting the anus and you are bringing with the eyes, the eyes are rolling up to the head you are in and at the same time you are inhaling so we are using two things in one is contract inhale and eyes from down till top let's let's do it nine times one inhale you can use your hands also so that you know your mind will follow the movement two Three, four, inhale, bring it up, five, six, inhale, seven, inhale, bring it up to your head, eight, nine, and Relax, relax. Okay, some more friends are joining. I don't know how much they will get it because I don't want to give half information, friends. Half information, not good, right? You should get full information when you are doing something, right? So what is the technology? Is the anus, you are taming the anus, contracting it, that's the pelvic, that's the pelvic girdle, okay? This is the, all the organs are sitting on top of that. And if we don't exercise it, all the organs will start going down, you know? So as we go old, grow old, everything is shrinking down. You know, we are going down like this. So we have to practice, practice to bring it up, energy up, yeah? So contracting the anus, and when we contract the anus, imagine from the mind's eye, we are looking down. And inhale, with the, even the eye is rolling up. Eye is first looking down, inhale, rolling eyes, eyes going up, 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 up to the head. We are bringing the energy to the head. Right? So when you will have, because we feel a lot of orgasm here during a sexual activity, 
now we are doing it standing when you master it the best is to lie down and do it but before you master that you have to stand and do it a, a little practice it requires friend once you get it it is not that hard very very easy friends yeah so i will show you some more variations of this <clears throat> just one second i will show you uh okay so we understood the upward draw and we are using the eyes up till the spine so now there are uh, okay i think it's see it's a very small portion the anus is a very small portion okay so there is a left side of the anus right side of the anus front of the anus back of the anus it is divided into four sections right <clears throat> now these are the things that you know uh, i will not go very deep because you know it takes a lot of time and the workshop if you attend you will get all these in theory because you need to know how to activate these organs different parts you know there are like five zones in the sexual organ that needs to be activated okay so these are all the taoist techniques which uh, i will be teaching you uh, later but for today for example you want to take uh, because see on the left side you have the spleen what is there on the left side for men you will have your testicle women will have ovary then uh, uh, you know you will have the i think i have done it a little wrong it's the it should be the left kidney and the left testicles okay and the spleen heart lung thyroid inner eye brain all the left side so and this is the right side you know right side we have the liver and so it says for example we have to bring the sex energy or the orgasm into the liver so lightly squeeze the light left anus sorry it's the right right because the reverse is on the right okay so what it says is it's very simple we have to just imagine put a put a picture of the liver that okay my i have a liver problem i have to picture the liver and we have to pull the energy slightly up friends when you are doing it on your when you will practice and do this it is not this big theory okay but i have to break it for people to get it some people they just get it like this you know just they'll just take one breath and the you know like the energy is up it's not that difficult but because to you to get it i am trying to break it right so let us say uh, i'm trying to open this again mm. we'll do the uh, one one practice we will do or maybe we'll do the spinal cord yeah this is more easier so for example we are trying to pull the energy we want to you know uh, because spine and head you know the most stressed areas friends right so what we do is we contract the anus see i'll show you first then you can do it now you can imagine the spinal cord okay you can imagine it in your mind's eye and then i'll show you what to do is you are contracting the anus eyes are down now you are putting it you are coming into the kidney putting it coming into the heart putting it coming into the neck keep breathing you are not releasing the breath okay then stop now now you are flushing the energy after you bring from the head for some people they can just breathe it will go straight into the head and they will flush it down okay try that friends so we do this first and then we will pull it up the spine okay this time we will pull it up the spine we can pull it up from the left side right side front all the you know uh, endocrine all the uh, thyroid uh, all the glands right and the back but today we will just practice the back this is the primary one right we are not doing the other four practice 
So let's do this. Inhale and eyes from bottom to top. Two, three. Contract the anus slightly. Four, pulling the energy up till the head. Five, just see, because I practice, you know, I, I have started feeling the energy coming up. Six, seven, just gentle contraction friends. Eight, pull it up your head. Nine, and relax. Okay, now we will pull it up into, uh, into the spine. So, contract the anus and breathe into the kidney, keep breathing, into the heart, breathe, into the neck, into the head, and right, sometimes it's just one breath, just one breath, so you have to use vision, you have to use breath, and the eyes, right, try it. So people who have been with me with the bliss shop earlier, you already know it. You start practicing, pulling it up and you can rotate the energy. So you're just breathing, pulling the energy up. You can use your hands also friends like this. You feel the energy rotating. Right. So, just give me one second, friends. I'll bring the chair here. Okay. So, this is a very good practice, friends. Just to train ourselves to put the energy up and rotate it. It's very amazing. Right? And there are many, this is called microcosmic orbit. There are many ways of microcosmic orbit that we learn. And um, sometimes what I do is when I am uh, I'm losing energy or, you know, I don't have much energy in the body. I want to regulate this energy with the sun or the stars. So it's, it's kind of making love with the stars and the moon and the galaxies, right? Okay. So, so these are the uh, uh, four points, you know, the front line is the sex organs, back line is the spinal cord, the left side of the body and the right side of the body. We train the anal splinter muscle, the anus splinter muscle, and through the training, we can pull the energy up. Okay. So this is a million dollar point, friend. This is a very, all people need to discover the million dollar point in them because that's the energy, you know, that, that's where the energy is condensed. See what I said, the condensed energy has to go into more lighter forms. Then this energy will start moving. So, ice to water to gas, right? So this million dollar point is very condensed sexual energy. Sometimes it's very hard to control that, you know, for some people when I work with, or many of the people, it's the reverse. It's completely um, uh, suppressed. For me, it was completely suppressed. I didn't want to look into it also, right? So initially, that is the reason a little work is required, like inner child work, past life, go and look the problem. What, what is your problem? What is the root cause of the problem? After you look at the root cause, then you, then what is there? Then nothing. You don't have to keep uh, looking into all past lives over and over. You know, I kept doing it for years. I've seen more than hundreds of uh, past lives. <laughs> no, no use. You have to live it and now you start living your bliss. 
this is given to it then not, nothing sinful about it nothing sinful it is a technology given in your body you can do it in your own self if you are married you can practice it with your partner you know you can revolve the energy with the partner so left right this this is a front you can uh, you know you can have good uh, glands if you flush the energy up with the glands back side also right and this is uh, you know how a couple can do it you know there is a very uh, old uh, uh, like chinese books they have these pictures how they can uh, you know practice with couples you know how to put the energy up so now um, i think this is what it is if you have any questions uh, friends uh, i would suggest that you come forward for this workshop where we have because i i want you to get the full thing of it you know have the full knowledge you can start practicing you can start practicing pulling the energy yes yes ujwal please yeah aditya hi thank you so much i just have uh, one doubt about the exhalation aspect yeah. so inhale we take the eyes up we take yeah. it up and then when do we exhale and if so, we exhale do we bring the eyes down yes exactly when you are exhaling eyes down ex okay, inhale so eyes Namaste. up yeah eyes up that's the picture see i'll show you yeah, that i got i just wanted to confirm with the exhalation part yes yes i think i did not uh, mention about the exhalation thank you for that so see this is the picture inhalation exhalation hmm fair thank you great wonderful right A any 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 friends any any other questions friends and friends um, every sunday we have this uh, uh, idea uh, small workshops this time we are decoding metaphors it, it's tomorrow at 11 am uh, we have it for half 45 minutes one hour many of the friends join you can join for tomorrows it's uh, every sunday we are doing it it's a free event so we call it idea events right so neetu you could practice it today great and i see who is here sumit sumit was doing it sumit you are practicing you could get today i i have shown another technique yeah yes i was thinking about it that in the first workshop we uh, didn't learn about the uh, liver right right side liver and the left side yes yes i i can, i can share many hundreds of technique like this <laughs> even yes. it's not that's the reason we have the groups and yes. you should come and attend the groups you know you will learn so much you know i'm trying to gather everything make small small credit presentation and i'll bring it with and it is people. good and it is good that you are uh, every time each workshop is a new workshop it's a new so, yes i don't yes. want to repeat things that's good every time yeah yeah so i i think like 26 you will go in depth uh, to everything yeah it's a, uh, is it 26 26 and 27 yeah yeah no it's 28 29 which uh, uh, it's a, it's a thursday and a friday thursday and a friday okay uh, not saturday sunday that no, one no no i am not doing it this time weekends i am not doing it i have kept it in weekdays okay 28 29 right don't worry friends you see i i i'll tell you what i spent lakhs and lakhs of money in learning this trust me lakhs of money right uh, and i used to be like that oh shall i go you know shall i i will i have a uh, you know holiday for this right uh, do i have money for it nothing friends if we intend we do it that's it a very very important part of our life friends that we need to master this energy we need to master this wild energy in us once you master it then you will know how now see imagine that you are now rolling the energy up and down now you say i want to manifest my dream i have this project coming i want to put my entire energy there your energy will go there 
why is your mind working so much crazy the mind doesn't listen to you because the energies are not controlled yet right so yes meditation is the first thing that i will definitely recommend everyone here we are all meditators here there is no alternative for meditation okay meditation we have to do continuously but if you need to operate in the physical world because we are all creators we are all manifestors you need to master this energy Can right yes yes the thing is in what way is this energy different from kundalini energy it is no different lata ji is the same energy it's just the direction of the energy that we call kundalini one sexual energy and prana chi ki you name it okay same energy sexual energy when it's moving up it's kundalini energy it's moving down creates babies is the uh, sexual energy right and this energy in a bigger form we call it cosmic energy okay. universal energy what is it higher intelligence what is it one energy okay. different directions one energy going and destroying it we call destructive energy this energy coming and creating creative energy same energy so for they example, uh, for kundalini energy they saying you need proper initiation from a particular person exactly uh, but now we are just doing this in these workshops exactly so are we actually moving the kundalini energy or yeah. because you have worked so much on yourself you have done uh, you have looked into your core problem you have you have worked on yourself now you know yeah once you have see the, the, i don't believe in any external guru that's not what my teachers have taught me okay my teachers said guru is inside that's right <laughs> right you look into your guru okay so you ask your own guru what is my problem look into the problem once you have seen the problem start practicing bliss how much bliss your vessel can hold that is the question friends we are at especially after covid we have stepped into a very different era very different energies right we are all we all know what are what are the thing that really matters to us now it's coming it's purified right and now i am also able to communicate with others because people are ready to listen to me people are coming to my workshop people are people are uh, you know uh, you know it's also like only not me teaching i am learning my workshops are refining a lot working with all friends here you know so i am i am also uh, like I, i think i am the i am the one benefiting the most yeah so friends any other question anybody else oh i see uh, bharti ji has joined wonderful bharti ji good to see you kritika is here parimal ji any question jaya ji aditya ji ji uh, group ka ah, books ke naam suggest karna especially i want to study taoism actually ha main aapko aapko bhejunga books especially ah. aapko padhna hai you have to read mantak chia ha wo naam thoda na ye aisa hai na to is i will i will i will ah. send you mujhe bhi thoda dekhna hai हाँ तो okay okay friends so uh, practice it friends move the body uh, practice it let us meet every month okay and uh, let us be become huge vessel let us start expanding our vessel right holding bliss is we have to expand the vessel and this technology is to expand your vessel to become more creative becoming a creator becoming a manifester right we are all here to create thank you very much shushant thank you lata ji neetu sumit thank you very much jaya ji thank you so much for being here kritika thank you parimal ji 
सुगीता जी थैंक यू माधवी जी भारती जी सुमित एंड भवानी जी भवानी गोयल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच आई विल सून डिक्लेयर द नेक्स्ट ब्लिश शॉप अगेन फ्रेंड्स आई रेकमेंड दैट यू हाईली डू द वर्कशॉप इन जनवरी टू डेज राइट इट्स नथिंग यू नो द वैल्यू दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग इज great out of it you know it's just not a workshop it's you getting we getting together and friends you are my first people whom i started working with because i was working with dr newton before covid you know after covid life has changed right i started working on my own but in this short span all the people that are you know have started i want to want all of you to be together right with us this bliss uh, uh, workshop the group will go on and uh, all the core members will remain here later i am going to make it paid uh, maybe from april i will make it paid but people who will be regularly attending i'll make it free for them because i know they are ardent learners so for you it will be a free thing and you know every month i'm trying to bring something new to inspire ourselves and put our energy back into the ground to how to ground how to ground right so take action who have not attended in the workshop and for people who have attended the workshop please attend the bliss bliss shop group session so that we could practice thank you thank you so much friends have a wonderful sunday and thank you so much for taking out time especially on this i think today is saturday tomorrow is sunday i'm forgetting yeah <laughs> but for me it's saturday sunday is a little uh, you know relaxed for me it's like a weekend and uh, you know like uh, the christmas time i'm sure all of you have a lot of other things to do so thank you for showing namaste take care bye bye thank you thank you